It is official. We finally have our first look at the starters and the legendaries for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now we have the names of the starters. We even have a look at the sprite of our main character. And then we have the art of the boxes for Sun and Moon. We also got to see some uh, visual art from the game for the, uh, the legendaries, but I prefer the visual box art because it's, uh, it's more engaging and it's actually official. So let's look at the starters. You can see them on the side over, he over here. And uh, let's talk about them real quick. So we have obviously three. We have our first one, Rowlet. Rowlet is a grass and flying type Pokemon. Now, when they trademarked words, they trademarked the word owl and the word grass, I believe. And here he is, a grass owl. He's cute looking. He doesn't look super powerful. I'm actually curious how his evolutionary line will be. I believe this is the first starter that can uh, have the ability to fly. I'm wondering how graceful and majestic he'll look because here he's very, very tiny. So I'm wondering when he'll like, you know, grow and become gigantic. I wonder how big this starter will be. Will he be like Charizard? Uh, what I mean by flying, I mean is a Pokemon, a, a starter that can actually fly, not uh, Charizard who gains the ability to fly. Normally all the starters are either one type, more or less, and they're just uh, grass, fire, and water. So Rowlet is pretty cute looking. Um, he looks the weakest of the three. Uh, so let's look at the fire one. Okay, the fire one's name is Litten, and I believe for this one they did copyright the word tiger and the word fire. Uh, and clearly kitten, because kitten is a uh, rhymes with Litten. Now Litten looks probably to be the strongest of the, the three. Kind of gives off a Cyndaquil type vibe to me. I'm looking forward to seeing where we're going to get to go with Litten's evolutionary line. He he could have been a dark type from this. I mean he is, uh, he looks sort of like a little bit of a Sneasel mixed with fire. I like the way Litten looks the most and I actually don't even like cats. So I'm curious to see uh, how Litten's next two lines will go, uh, what his best attack will be. He looks like he can own Rowlet, in all honesty. So, uh, are you Team Litten or Team Rowlet? I really like. I really like Team. Uh, I really like Litten though. I think it looks cute. Uh, I like the the tail. I think there's like so many little bits about it that are very um, engaging and uh, design friendly. You know, just just how he has all those stripes and he has like those funky looking whiskers right there. And then he has the thing on the top of his head. So I like that. Uh, another thing before I look at the, uh, before I look, you guys can obviously see it, before I talk about the last one, is this region is called the Aloha region, I believe. So now we're in like a Hawaii island type setting, which is so, so nice. I like that. All right. It's warm and relaxing, so it should be good. And the last one is Poplio. I believe his name is Poplio is based off of a seal. He... He's the second favorite, I guess. Uh, Rowlet, just because he looks so weak. But Poplio is cute looking. Um, my biggest problem with Poplio is we already, we already have a seal and a dugon, and seals are Arctic animals. And here, uh, Poplio is you know most likely based in the Aloha region. And now we're going to have a, a, a... It just doesn't really make sense geographically. But I think he looks pretty cute looking. Um, I'm guessing he's probably going to be the second strongest starter. His his evolutionary line is probably going to be a really majestic uh, seal, dugon type animal, maybe based with a little Milotic. Maybe he'll become a bit of a dragon. I don't know where it could go. Uh, but it's definitely going to stay more than likely in the seal family. I think Poplio looks, he looks like a circus animal. He really does. Uh, so of the three of them, I'm going to go Lidden, Poplio, and Rowlet. I think Lidden has the most... Um, possibilities to be awesome. I think Poplio will be our underdog, and I think Rowlet will look really cool majestically once it evolves. So those are my thoughts on the first three starters. I hope you guys all like them. And then to talk very, very, very briefly about the other stuff. So we have our first look at our protagonist. He's uh, he's interesting. Um, I truly don't have that much to say about him in the game. There's a disclaimer saying this is not the final model, so I'm really wondering where we'll be where, like, what else is left to do with him. He looks more than done. I like his hat. He has black hair. He has, like, hazel eyes. So, uh, do you guys like the way this, the sprite looks? I think he looks pretty engaging. And then the big thing we hear, we hear, we have, is the box art with the two legendary starters, or the two legendary Pokemon. We have our sun starter, and we have our moon starter. Now, the moon starter is fantastic looking. It looks kind of uh, vampire-like. I love its huge wings. I love its glowing eyes. I love the purple color to it. It looks 
uh, fantastic. I really hope it has advantage over the Fire One, which actually kind of reminds me of Entei a little bit. I think Entei uh, definitely was inspiring the Sun Pokemon. I'm actually shocked that someone doesn't have wings, uh, just because, you know, the celestial body, like the moon one. Uh, so I'm assuming that the moon one is going to be dark and the sun one is going to be fire, probably dark and uh, flying for the uh, the moon one overall. So I like the way that both these starters look. I'm a fan of the moon one at the moment, but I think the fire one is going to be kick ass too. I really, really like them. I can't wait to find out their names. So that is the official reveal to the Pokemon Sun and Moon um, starters, uh, two legendaries, and what our sprite looks like. And we are going to the Aloha region. So share your thoughts about this in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see, and we'll talk real soon. Thank you for watching, guys, and we will talk later. Bye.